and welcome. In this video, we will look at examples of a long straddle and two different long strangles that a trader could place on GLD, the gold ETF. You may remember from my video on straddles that a long straddle is a trade that combines two options on the same stock, a long call and a long put, both at the same strike price and time of expiration. Like the straddle, a long strangle is a trade that combines two options on the same stock, a long call and a long put, both at the same time of expiration. However, for a straddle, the trader buys options that are at the money and with a strangle, the trader buys two options that are out of the money. Both the long straddle and long strangle trades are taken when the trader feels that the price of the stock will make a significant move in price before the options expire, but the trader is unsure of which direction the price will move. The goal is that the price of the underlying stock moves enough in one direction that the price for one option exceeds the loss on the other option, resulting in a profit on the trade. At the time of making this video, GOD is currently $129.09 a share. Let's look at a long straddle and two long strangles that a trader could place on GLD using options that expire in about five weeks. A trader could place a long straddle by buying both the $129 call option and the $129 put option. The call option costs $2.54 per share and the put option costs $2.46 for a total cost of $5 per share up front. This means that for the trade to be profitable, the price of GLD either has to rise more than $5 over the strike price or drop more than $5 below the strike price. In other words, for the trade to be profitable, the price of GLD either has to rise over $134 or fall below $124 before the options expire. Instead of a long straddle, the trader could place a long strangle trade on GLD by buying the $130 call option and the $128 put option. The call option costs $2.07 and the put option costs $2.04 for a total cost of $4.11 per share up front. This means that for the trade to be profitable, the price of GLD either has to rise more than $4.11 over the $130 call strike price or drop more than $4.11 below the $128 put strike price. In other words, for the trade to be profitable, the price of GLD either has to rise over $134.11 or fall below $123.89 before the options expire. The trader could also choose to place a long strangle that is further out of the money by buying the $131 call option and the $127 put option. Both the call option and the put option cost $1.65 each for a total cost of $3.30 per share up front. This means that for the trade to be profitable, the price of GLD either has to rise more than $330 over the $131 call strike price or drop more than $330 below the $127 put strike price. In other words, for the trade to be profitable, the price of GLD either has to rise over $134.30 or fall below $123.70. Looking at the three choices, the straddle costs the most up front of $5 per share, which means that it has the highest amount of money risk. However, the price of GLD has to move the least for the trade to be profitable. So this choice has the highest risk, but it also has the highest probability of the trade making a profit. The strangle that is closer to the money costs almost a dollar less per share than the straddle. However, the price of GLD has to move a bit further for this trade to be profitable. The lower cost means that the strangle has lower risk than the straddle. But the need for GLD to move further for the trade to be profitable also means that the strangle has a lower probability of success than the straddle. The strangle that is further out of the money costs the least at $3.30 per share total up front. However, the price of GLD has to move the most for this trade to be profitable. The lowest cost means that this strangle has lower risk than the straddle or the closer strangle, but the need for GLD to move further for the trade to be profitable also means that this strangle has the lowest probability of success. As you can see, as the strike price moves away from the current stock price, the options are cheaper, meaning that there is less money at risk to lose, but the price of the underlying stock has to move further, meaning that the lower risk also comes with a lower probability of success. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.